it's so overwhelming and it just freaks you out. And it's hard for you to, you know, go on with life and do the things that you need to do. And then when you get older and you get more settled in your life, then you can open that back up and do it with little little bits and pieces and work on each little area just one step at a time. And that way it's not so overwhelming. Yeah, exactly. Because, man, I'm telling you, I, sometimes, you know, the things that you guys see, like, you know, um, are not pleasant. And, no. you know, me being an empath, it, it would be really, really hard on me to have both of those going at the same time because I would feel so so much uh, overwhelming sadness for some of the stuff, you know. And, and it, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I would probably have to be on medication at that point if I could, you know, see things like that. But then it would probably dull my senses as well. So that's kind of a catch-22. Um, well, you just learn to work through it, and you learn exactly what you're doing it for. And that right. overrides a lot of what you see, feel, and hear. It's because you know that it's doing something good for somebody. True. And it's even if it's just for the spirit to be able to tell their story, oh, my gosh, what a blessing is that. Right? You know, and, and give them that piece, too, so where they can actually go, okay, someone's heard me now. I can actually rest now. You know, I've gotten my peace said. So let's go chill. You know what I mean? Let's go do what we need to do uh, and, and get on with it. Well, you know, we've been, like you said, to so many really cool places, and we've had so many really wild experiences from funny, of me running, and uh, <laughs> I mean, like a little girl in place, no less. Now, I didn't run anywhere, just in place a couple of feet. You know, that's about it. We got it was the latest size on the wall. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was so not cool that man to do. But anywho, um, it's so fun. We've had, you know, TV hospital uh, adventures. We've had, you know, all kinds of adventures together. And we went to Schloss Furnace and Dove just recently. Man, I wanted to get your take on how, what you thought about that place. Just. From a, from a, a seasoned, experienced investigator, what is your opinion about that place? That place was rock solid, incredibly haunted. It was absolutely everything that I have heard about it. I've been in thinking, well, you know, it's got to be hype. And, oh, yeah. my God, no. It was not hype. After what I saw what happened to Charlie, I'm not going to go into detail because she's not here to tell her story. But, right. um what happened to her was really eye-opening for me, and it really let me know that these birds are not playing, and they, they will hurt you. And we have saw so many different people just have so many different life-changing experiences at Sloss, and none of it was fake. It was all the real deal. And just oh, watching yeah. you and knowing that everybody was so scared to come up and talk to you, and here's Billy Brenda. She, Hey, Flynn, what's your problem, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, your whole demeanor changed everything about you. This woman is an amazing breath of fresh air. She is just uh, the life of the party everywhere she goes. And she was not that way at thought. It was mm-hmm. like she was angry. She was mad at the world. And her eyes went from just a beautiful, sparkling, beautiful look to just being kind of dark and hateful looking. Yeah, right. it, that place was crazy. I mean, and an impasse. Oh, man. You know, sometimes the spirits aren't strong enough to convey their emotions. You know what I mean? There's not enough strength. So I can't pick up on all of them. But let me just tell you, there were so many spirits at Sloth that were just not happy. And it's such a horrific working condition for these people. Yeah. And it was just. It was so devastating to know what these people's lives actually consisted of. And it yes. was day in, day out, and dread. It was dreaded yes. going to work. God, they hated it. And it, I felt every minute of it. And it was so weird because, you know, people, I wasn't really feeling angry about anything. I was excited. I was stressed because we were filming Spirit Quest. And I was, you know, just kind of freaked out about, oh, my God, are we going to get enough film footage? Are we doing this right? Are we doing that right? And I wasn't really thinking that the place was affecting me so greatly because I was so busy. But when my friends were scared, and I'm talking, you know, my friend from, I was 15 years old. 
Um, yes. We've been friends, Tammy and I, since I was 15, and she was afraid of me and thinking that I was pissed at her about something, and everybody else was thinking I was mad, and I wasn't mad at all at anyone. I was just picking up on the dread and the, oh, I hate my job, and I'm stuck in this, and how miserable I am, and, you know, this this is my life now, and... You know, I was just, oh, it was horrible, and I felt so bad for those guys, but there was so much of it around me that, I mean, yeah. it was draining the hell out of me. And so at the end of the night, you know, y'all wanted me to come and drink and stuff like that or whatever, you know, to the bar, not drink, but just go to that bar next door. And I was like, oh, I don't think that was any our food place. <laughs> yeah, that was the food. It was just a bar connected to the hotel, folks. Nobody was getting all drunk and everything. It was just a oh, bar no. connected to the deal, and we, there were great hamburgers there. Holy crap. So it was amazing. Yes. But so that's all, you know, and I couldn't do it. It was just draining because of the, the situation there. But, I mean, you guys got some incredible experiences in the tunnel as well, didn't you? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Um, the dumb, dumb thing that you put in your hand. The yeah, suckers, and we, yeah. Yes, and we got to watch. Well, I was able to see this little girl move that sucker, and everybody else just saw the sucker moving. And she would do it pretty much on command, and it was just absolutely incredible. And Tammy, which is a part of Two Feathers, you now she's been Glenna's friend for millions of years, yeah. and she was blessed to, to come and be on my team. And so, you know, we intertwined so much together. I mean, it's like Peter and Two Feathers are always doing something together, so. Right. You know, but Tammy had it in her hand, and she felt this little girl, and Tammy doesn't see, feel, hear, or anything, and she's very new to the paranormal, but she kept feeling her fingernails being touched and pulled and messed with, and she's like, oh my gosh, something is playing with my fingernails. And it was that now, guys, her fingernails are really long, okay? They're really oh, long. They're claws. <laughs> they're like <laughs> talons. <laughs> let's, let's just be honest. They're like talons. Yes. <laughs> and they are, um, they're very fake and very properly done and very nicely manicured at all times. And, yes, they, that little girl kept playing with her fingers, and that was her greatest thing was to see that. Yeah. I, I mean, to be new, that's what gets you in this... When you're new to the paranormal and you see and experience something just like that, in, you know, even just a little bit of that, that's amazing to feel the energy at the end of your fingertips, literally. Absolutely. And, and that's why it changed her. Oh, yeah. That, that totally got a uh, fire lit up under her butt, just like when I saw Kenny's, you know, I would say astral projection body or doppelganger, whatever you want to call what I saw. That is exactly the thing that catapulted me. Yes, I was into the paranormal because of my mom, but when I saw Kenny's double standing yeah. in the door, Jesus Christ, that was like, holy crap. I mean, that was like the holy grail of paranormal if I could have caught it on camera. <laughs> exactly, but, and that's, that's what we're about, is, you know, just having right. fun and enjoying this and, and just getting those little glimpses into the other world. You know, and that's that's what's so awesome is that we have had several glimpses, and and the glimpse that I had speaking of in the tunnel with that little girl. Now the story is just to catch up a little bit on sloth furnaces. There's a mother and a daughter. The mother's job was to take sandwiches to the workers, okay, during lunchtime, and of course her daughter would have to go with her. Um, there's a tunnel that you have to go down these steps to get down to where the workers would you know, would, of course, be working or whatever. And she told her daughter, hang on, stay up here, please. It's dangerous, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Mother goes down the stairs, falls, breaks her neck, dies. The little girl's waiting, waiting, waiting. She finally gets tired of waiting. I want to know where my mom is. She goes down the stairs, breaks her neck, and she dies. So there's two spirits that are said to be in this tunnel. Well, the same little girl that was possibly, and I'm not going to say that it is for sure, but the only little girl that we know that's there, um, came up and was playing with Tammy's uh, fingernails and the dum-dum in her hand. Okay, well, when Justin and I, Justin Spurrier, we were in the tunnel and we were filming Spirit Quest, and he was showing me Bill Chappell's uh, SLS, you know, it's like the Connect system. And he said, just stand there real quick and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you set up and we're going we're gonna to map you in. And as we're doing that, the 
little stick figure, a little girl. Now, we don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but a little stick figure about waist high to me, tall, came up and stood right next to me. Wow. And as I said, he goes, oh, you're not going to believe this, but there's a little stick figure, a little kid spirit standing right next to you. And I said, hi. I said, is that you? And I said, don't be afraid. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. It just took off. And that was so crazy. But we, you know, we caught some amazing stuff. And then we had Gary and them having so many experiences. Um, do you know of anything else that's lost that really just, blew your hair back that well one thing that Lori sticks in my mind is that girl that had never been on an investigation before and she got on camera that guy in the yellow oh yeah 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 Courtney Courtney yes. Kinley yes yes, yes. And we can't figure still mind. out what that is yeah we can't still figure out what that is if it was actually because we she was doing um, actual security work for us for Spirit Quest because they had day tours and of course it's it's an open public thing so we couldn't keep people from coming into Sloth but um, uh, we had you know we were filming so we were trying to keep people out and the funny thing about that photograph is that we blocked that entrance down into the area where we were in the boiler room because we were filming at the time and so she right. put a big table and everything up there so no one could come down there and about a few minutes before that, we were standing down there, and someone threw something at us, and it was a rock. Yes. And then she goes with her, you know, like her flashlight. She thought it was a flashlight to see what the hell was over there, and that's when she captured that. So I don't know what that was, but it was so cool. But Slaw it was, was a joke. But there was nobody there that was in that kind of an outfit as well. No, we couldn't even find anyone with that jacket or anything on. But, you know, we're still kind of, you know, you're always skeptical about what it is because, God, it was just so crazy looking. But still, it was captured. It was a great catch, um, and it hasn't been debunked yet. So and we all um, have been trying our best to debunk it. I have looked at that picture inside out thoroughly, and I cannot debunk it. And I've tried everything. And I yeah. have taken it to some camera people, and they cannot debunk it. Well, you know, the, the it's so cool also is that the event, and I wanted to also thank Carol Malone and Dark Side Entertainment for such a cool event. Yeah, because woo -woo, they're awesome. Yeah. And so the cool thing was, I mean, what events do you get to go to that they set people on fire? Yes. Oh, my God. Was that cool or what? That was bad ass. Excuse my <laughs> language, but that was bad ass. Not once, not twice, but three times. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. And not just a chick but a dude and they did it so awesomely that they did it they were trying what they were trying to do is they they did forensics actually. Carol Malone and her team, P A C C forensically paranormal, they did forensics. On the wheel well, where you've seen it on Ghost Adventures, where there's this big thing about the guy who got sucked into the wheel. Right. Um, stay tuned for more stuff on that. But um, the blood that was found on the wheel was human. Yeah. And so that was so freaking cool. Well, then there was another incident where a worker was either set on fire by accelerant or a spark hit his clothing, and he he, he ran 123 feet, I believe it was, until he fell to his death. Now, they were trying to prove, was it the ember, or was he actually set with accelerant? What do you think watching those burns would be the more likely of the two scenarios? Oh, of course, you, I believe what you believe. Somebody added something to him, because I saw the first one when there was not. But, you know, right. they put some on there, but there wasn't a whole lot. And it didn't go up like that. But as soon as they added it, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was, like, crazy. And you got you you actually captured some really good pictures of them filming that for the show. Yes. There were actually I two shows in. filming there. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they actually asked me to send them the pictures that I have because mine were better than what they even had. Wow, girl, that's amazing. And yeah. there were two shows being filmed. There.